Hi everyone, so today I'm really excited to share with you some new products from Avon and Catrice. So between the two brands I actually have a whole box of full face of makeup and I'm really excited because I haven't tried a bunch of these things. There are only a few that I've really taken for a test ride so far. Uh, so let's get right into it. I have some really exciting priming products from Catrice. This is Elf's kind of older sister brand. It's German and uh, really like nice, compact, no fuss products. This is fun. This is a dewy glow fixing spray. It's called uh, Prime and Fine. So I'm gonna put this on first. It actually has like a fine um, shimmer running throughout it. It looks beautiful. So I'm gonna take a quick spritz of this. My face is clean. Mm. Mm, it smells nice. It smells just a little bit floral, like a bit of rose, maybe some jasmine. That's great. After that, I have another primer here. It's a Correct My Red primer. My face looks okay right now, but I do get some redness on and around my nose. Oh my goodness. Look at this color. <laughs> this is very green. But look, it'll do something. So, ooh, this is a really nice uh, tube here. It kind of clicks shut. Good quality, it reminds me of Smashbox primers. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a kind of stippling brush to blend this in. It actually blends out pretty well. The texture is great. It feels very lightweight, not silicone-y. Nice. So I'm sure you could, even if you had like a really ang angry blemish, just um, dot a little bit on with like a detail brush like so, and then it could probably give you a great color correcting base layer. This is One Minute Face Perfector. It's like a really cool, um, bouncy, almost moussey product. Looks a bit dark. It's in uh, One Fits All. So I'm gonna try that as uh, kind of a primer as well. See so just how it looks. It's really smoothing. So it feels really good. It has a magic finish effect. Um, so it's a moussey face perfecter to mattify and give you a natural finish. So it actually does kind of fill in your pores. Nice, okay. And moving on to the big guns. I have this incredible foundation and concealer from the brand, which I've always wanted to try. I actually had this in my cart when I was shopping on Shoppers Drug Mart a while ago, um, but I didn't end up getting it because I wasn't sure what shade I wanted, um, but this is so cool. So this is the HD Liquid Cover Foundation. It comes in a dropper. So I'm just going to drop um, a little bit on my forehead oh, and then some on my cheeks. I have not tried this yet. I've just done like a little um, swatch on my hand. I don't know what this color will be like, but I like to take risks. So let's try it out. The dropper is nice because it's also very sanitary. So you're a makeup artist, you need to mix some shades. You can just drop a bit out onto a palette and you're good to go. I can tell already this is gonna be just a stitch too dark. Uh, what I do have are my Body Shop color adjusting lightning drops. That would be perfect to mix in with these, again, because they're just in a dropper bottle. I'm going into this Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. This is like a prize winning product. I have it in the shade Natural Rose 007. I'm gonna use that under my eyes. This looks like a very good shade. Feels really good, Ooh, nice and light. I don't know if this is a dupe for the Collection Concealer. The fabulous product from the UK that I always stock up on. It does have a very weightless coverage, but packs a good punch. Cool. Okay, between the primer and the foundation, I don't have much else to cover you guys. I'm actually pretty impressed with how everything's layering. It's also why it's good to buy kind of base products all from the same brand. So then you know that they're gonna ideally layer flawlessly because they're all compatible. 
they're all from the same brand, or at least they should be. Cool, this is a very pretty base in my humble opinion. So moving on to this gorgeous palette. I don't have a powder that I'm using today, but I'm just gonna dot on some blush while I have it. This actually has some unique shades here. We have like two mid-tone bronzy shades and then two blushes. All of these colors look like they'll be perfect on me. So I'm just gonna dab into this mid-tone bronzer. I don't think I'm gonna use the dark one today. Just brush that onto my face. I'm using this fabulous tulip shape brush from Revlon. I don't know if they make these anymore. I find Revlon brushes don't last very long on the shelves. They always change up the collection so fast, but if you do happen to find this tulip shape brush, it's really good at picking up powder. Okay, moving on to blush. I'm gonna use this Quo angled brush here. I'm just gonna use the pink one for today. Dot that on my cheeks. Ooh, yeah, that is very pretty. Wow, okay, these powders are fabulous. I find they're a little bit um, more pressed than the Essence ones, perhaps. Um, like, not as powdery. They layer very nice. It actually rivals like my MAC products right here. The finish is gorgeous. Going into the Royal and Langnickel brush, I'm gonna get a light sweep of this highlighter. Who again, not too powdery, you guys. It has a really nice pickup. Whew. Oh my gosh. <gasps> gorgeous. Gorgeous. Mm. Oh, this brand. It's so good. It also has like a little chart on the back to show you how to use everything. I also have this really fun 3D glow highlighter. I think it's gonna be a bit too pink for me. Maybe I can actually use this as like a blush topper. Let's try that. So I'm just gonna dab my brush into it. Oh yeah, I can do that. Wow. Put some on the forehead, nose, chin. <gasps> Cool. Oh, this is giving me like such a beachy vibe. Moving into some of my Avon products. I'm actually going to do lips right now because I'm so excited for these. I have the most incredible liquid lipsticks from Avon. They're fabulous. I think my favorite ones are these two darker shades. Um, the nudie ones are also very good, but for the moment, these are so good. I have purpley tone driven devoted is the pink the nude is ambitious and then this movie tone is resolute so for my look today i'll actually go for resolute they have this very convenient doe foot it applies so easily the texture is smooth even if my lips are a bit dry, they never feel tight or flaky with these on. I also find that they uh, kind of wear off very evenly. So this one dries down to kind of like that purpley mauve tone. I wanted something more neutral for the lip. And this will do. A few Avon products that I'm not using right now, but I did want to mention. They have this really cool primer and it actually has SPF 20. I cannot remember the last time I saw a primer with SPF and this one's actually a mattifying uh, primer too. So it does have that dry, um, dry down like mattifying finish, but it has SPF. Just don't get it around your eyes. I accidentally did and they got a little bit burny, uh, but this is cool. It's a nice idea to put primer on under your makeup and if your SPF is built in, it's a good daily defense. They also have these super cool magic wand sticks. So they are foundation sticks, but not only that, you can use them for highlighting or contouring. So look at this nice dark brown shape. I have swatches of these in the blog post linked below, so check that out. Now for the eyes. Avon came up with these really fun glimmering shadows and they are just liquid shadows, really nice sparkly finish. I'm going to try this light pinky tone. So I'm gonna do a bit of this in the inner corner on both eyes. This one is called Fool's Gold. 
And I have to say, I'm a little disappointed because these are packed with glitter. I didn't notice that from the outside. So, oh my gosh, one day before work, I put this all over my eye and then I start blending it out. And then there was literally glitter all over my face. It's really pretty. <laughs> Perfect for New Year's or a party or um, anything that's not like a formal business environment um, because they are a little glittery. So then I'm gonna go in with this mid-tone pinky shade called Peach Sapphire. This one's gonna go all over the center of the lid. I actually have not tried all of them, so this is a bit of a first impressions uh, for wear and application. Okay, Peach Sapphire has a really nice look to it. Again, once you start to blend it out, you'll see all of this glitter appear. Um, it's so funny, it's like the glitter is camouflaged until you start to blend it out. Oh, those look good together though. I like the ombre. Then to finish it off, I'm gonna go into uh, Bronze Age. It's a nice dark brown. That will be in my outer corner. Dokey. These are fun because um, most of the time these kind of tubey products don't dry out too fast. They're easy to store and fun to dip into, literally. When you have a special event to go to, it's a bit easier than a full eyeshadow palette. Like you can see here, I'm applying them with my fingers. Ooh, this one has some serious pigment. So a trick if I find it's getting a, a bit too pigmented, I'll switch to a clean finger and then use that one to kind of push out the edges. Then I'll just use that fourth finger again to kind of drag the color into the crease. Cool, and again the middle finger to just soften the edge. Really trying to keep that color in the outer corner and then just dragged into the crease. I literally could not think of a better like a New Year's Eve makeup because I hate like super black, gray, dark, dark, dark makeup and this just gives you a hint of that darkness but then lots of glitter. Let me throw some of this blue one on the lower lash line. It's one of my favorite things to do. It was a really big trend, I don't know, maybe like five years ago to put a pop of blue on the lower lash line. Alrighty, now for eyeliner, I have these three liners from Avon again. Um, interesting colors. So we have like this darker green shade in olive. Then we have the gold, which is 24 karat. Then a brown, which is toasted. So again, I tried this brown before and it is quite glittery. I'm gonna try it again, get all across the top line, just avoiding the very inner corner. You know what, layered on top of these cream shadows, it actually holds pretty well. Very soft, no dragging. I don't even have to tug and even out my top eyelid, like it drags you right across. Deposits a very even color, no skipping. I'll just wing it out while I'm here. So off camera, I did kind of explore the other shades of the eyeliner a little bit. The green one is a true olive, not too shiny, but kind of hard to use. I feel like it could be possible to do like a thin line across the top with it, um, but it definitely doesn't go on the waterline or anything. Not as creamy as the brown. And the gold, again, has that kind of dry consistency, but I was able to put a little bit in the inner corners. And how often do you find a gold this shade? Like these are all really unique shades. I am pretty happy with how the brown turned out. Okay, uh, in addition, I did my brows, which I used ColourPop brow pencil for. I used my NYX with the Hype Mascara. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's very fun, very glam. I'll put a lot of photos and more descriptions in the blog post below. But thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments or questions below, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!